Hello everyone, our title of the project is Efficient Wireless Data Transfer for Real-Time Greenhouse Management using ZP Protocol. So let me give a short introduction of our idea. A recent survey shows that the population will reach 9.1 billion in 2050. As shown in the graph, we need an enormous growth in the food production. And according to IFPRI, the yield reduces up to 30% due to climatical affairs. So the greenhouse gives a real-time solution. The main challenge is to maintain the environmental condition without any manual changes for various crops. And here is a overall block diagram. A block diagram consists of three units, namely node unit to collect the data from the field, PC unit to receive the data from the node from in the remote place, and control unit. It controls the actuators for, from the instruction given by the lab view. And this is our test chamber of size 10 cross 10 cross 12 feet. Let us show the arrangement of our project. Here, inside the chamber, we have designed and deployed two node units for data collection and one control unit to switch the actuators. This is node 1 and this is node 2. Depending on the size of the chamber, number of nodes are designed for precise data acquisition. A node unit consists of uh, three sensors such as temperature sensor LM35 and a humidity sensor HSY220 and a multi-level soil moisture detection unit. The current data is collectively displayed in LCD. And each node is powered by a 12-volt solar panel connected with a 6-volt battery for an efficient energy harvesting. These data are bundled and transmitted using Zigbee. And these are few test crops provided by TNAU Kaimbatu correspondingly. The three actuators are coupled such a way a irrigation pipe is coupled with a humidity sensor and an exhaust fan is mounted to reduce the indoor temperature. And these pipes are coupled with a heat blower to the chamber to increase the indoor temperature. And these are the three actuators to maintain the climatic conditions. The PC unit which acquires data from the each node unit by Zigbee transceiver via RS232 UART serial communication. So the lab receives the data with the help of RS232 serial communication. And this is our lab front panel. Initially I am setting 0 to all parameters such as temperature, humidity and soil moisture value. The circuit error is indicated for a proper port connection with PC. The user can give a range of values to each parameter. The zonal values are obtained and averaged as shown. This is zonal value 1. This is zone value 2. And this is the average value. By comparing the obtained value with the user defined value, the actuators are triggered and controlled. 
In addition to Twitter, a manual control panel is provided and the results are shown in a graphical format. Now by giving the various values for each parameters, let us see what are the control action takes place. These control instru instructions is transmitted to control unit to trigger and control the corresponding actuators. The indication is clearly made for each actuator. The obtained data is stored in spreadsheet. So user can retrieve and analyze at any time. The data have date, time and the change of each values with the constant type delay period. In control unit, the Zigbee receives the control instructions from the LabVIEW and the corresponding relay wire switcher. The display shows the current action taken by the unit. Each relay connected to an actuator such as sprinkler, heat blower and a cooling fan. The results were plotted with the data stored in the spreadsheet.